So guys, if you wanna know how to undervolt your RTX 3050 to reduce the temperature, reduce the power consumption and increase the FPS, you clicked on the right video. Let's get straight into how to do it. Okay, so here we are now. What we're gonna do is basically set a voltage point at which the card will run it, and then depending on the voltage point we set, the card will behave differently. So what you will need is MSI Afterburner, it will be a link to them in the description, and also you will need to have Heaven Benchmark running in the background, is this thing you see in the back, okay? So both of them will be down in the description, you can download them and open them up. Now, what you need to do is open up MSI Afterburner and be sure to enable voltage control and voltage monitoring. To do that, you go right here on the settings and you enable them, then you hit OK and you hit apply and that will work. Now, once you're here, you wanna go over here on Curve Editor and open this one up right there. Okay, so this is our curve, which is basically, um, it shows how the card will run at. Now, I will give you different profiles for this tutorial. The first one is the one I recommend to most people. It will give you performance that are better in the 1% lows of the FPS, and it will be on average the same, but it will save you a lot of power and a lot of temperature. Then I will also show you in case you wanna save even more power, and then at the end, bonus point, I will show you how to get the maximum FPS for your card. So what you wanna do is go on the core clock right there and hit minus 250. Like that. At this point, as you can see, the curve will lower, now we want to grab our voltage point. Those are the voltages, those are the frequency. You want to grab the 900 millivolt voltage point and bring it up all the way to around approximately, take or give or take five megahertz, 1900 megahertz. So let's grab it and let's go. And then you wanna hit apply, and as you can see, the profile will apply. Now, depending on what you choose, you will have a slightly different frequency, but 10 or 15 megahertz, it doesn't really matter. So at this point, you have already done the undervolting. If you wanna just copy the settings, you can just copy this thing and close the video. But I will give you a couple extra tips. So something good to do, in, depending, uh, like regardless of the profile, is to unlock the power limit and temperature limit. So you wanna go there, and just unlock them all the way and hit apply. This thing will not actually increase your power draw. It will just allow the card to spike a bit higher, which is good. Okay, now, if you wanna get a bit extra performance, you can also overclock the memory a little bit. This is not gonna damage your card in any way, but it's gonna slightly increase your temperature by one or two degrees. So in case you wanna do it, just go on the memory clock and give it plus 500. This is gonna work for every RTX 3050. Of course, this tutorial is for every RTX 3050. I am using a Zotac card, but it works for every single card. So let's do it. Okay, so this is the first profile. Now, in case you wanna get less temperature and even less power consumption than this, which is already gonna be a lot lower, you have to reduce the millivolt. So another profile that can work for a lot of people is gonna be 850 millivolt at 1800 megahertz. So let me show it to you. You give it minus, minus 250 again. You grab the 850 and you bring it up to 1800. There we go. As you can see, we are a bit under 1800, but it doesn't really matter. This is gonna give you even lower temperature and even lower power consumption. Now, if you want the lowest possible power draw, the voltage point you're gonna be looking at is 775. But for that to be stable, you need to use 1700 megahertz or lower. So now we'll show you with 1700 megahertz. Let's do it. 
again, minus 250, 775, 1700. And as you can see, here we are. Now, for those of you that are still here, you probably understood how it works. So to get the frequency stable, we need a certain amount of voltage. So we can also do this to get more performance. Now, most cards usually top out at around 2000 megahertz. So what we are aiming for, for the maximum performance is a 2000 megahertz overclock. Now to do that, we will need to use the 950 millivolt voltage point. If you have a very lucky card, you might just need 925. If you have a very unlucky card, you might need 975, but this will work on 99% of cards. Of course, the same goes for the other profiles. On some cards, 875 might be enough for 1900 megahertz. So you can try it out a bit, but if you wanna follow my recommendations, I have really, tested it for a long time so i know what is going to work for most cars so anyways let me show you the maximum performance profile okay so again minus 250 we unlock the power and temperature limit we set it to 2000 megahertz and we give it a bit of memory overclock let's go And here we are, this is the absolute maximum performance profile. So you can just choose whichever you want, copy it, it's gonna be much better than at stock. This is better than overclocking and it's effectively undervolting. This latest one technically is voltage point overclocking, it's what it's called. So if you like this video, please leave a like and maybe leave a sub. I have a tutorial for every single piece of hardware out there in existence. So I might have a tutorial for your CPU too. And I also make weird build videos in case you're interested. So anyways, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.